The ocean covers 71% of the Earth's surface, and the ocean's resources feed an estimated 3.5 billion people. Tuna is one of the fish species prized as food and served on plates across the world. Back in 2012, we produced an investigative insert on tuna fishing. We found that although local retailers were sourcing tuna from areas where fish stocks were healthy and not under threat, they were not focusing on the method used to catch tuna. The catch method is important because of the potential impact it has on other marine animals. The two methods that are used is long line and pole fishing. So with the long line fishery, where uh, a long line after a fisher trailer is installed, with uh, to so many as three to five thousand different hooks, all of them with ass on. En dat kan enig iets en sluit van seeskulpaie, malmokke, uh, is die ander naam vir albatros, en robbe en sovoorts wat ook as bijvangs gevang word. En die bijvangs mortaliteit is dan ontzaglik hoog. Die Suid-Afrikaanse verbruiker is bederf, want hy kan kies en keer wanneer het by kos kom. Maar met geblikte tuna is het nie die geval nie. Five years on and there have been some significant developments. Consumers do now have a choice. Michael Marriott works with the Marine Stewardship Council, an international organization established to safeguard seafood supplies for the future. Michael, what is the current state of tuna stocks here in South Africa and worldwide? Well, most species that we catch to eat, most fish species, are under increasing pressure and tuna aren't any exception to that rule. What percentage of the world's tuna is MSC certified? Currently it's around 16%. Um, that does cover different fishing methods, but a, a fairly high proportion of that is pole and line. Woolworths introduced a range of canned tuna with the MSC Eco label earlier this year and that is sourced from a fishery using the Poland line method. What does it mean to me as a consumer if I see the MSC logo? It means two things really. The first is that the fish was caught by a fishery that has been assessed against the MSC's environmental standard, which is considered to be a, a leading standard for measuring the sustainability of a fishery. And then secondly and very importantly, it means that that product is traceable from the product back to the fishery that caught it. The journey to bring MSC certified canned tuna to the South African market has required determination and effort. Working with various stakeholders and fishery organizations, Latifa at Woolworths has been part of the team who has made the launch of this responsibly sourced canned tuna range possible. Latifa, what are some of the challenges faced when it came to sourcing MSC certified canned tuna? Well, one of the challenges is the fact that only 16% of the world's tuna stock conforms to the MSC requirements. And therefore, it was important for us to partner with MSC as well as the International Poland Lion Foundation. Skipchat tuna is not commercially available in the South African waters. So we sourced our tuna from the Maldives because they make use of the age-old Poland Lion port method. Also, they set the standards in terms of MSC certification and they do a lot of social upliftment projects with the fishermen. Nine years ago, we launched the Fishing for the Future initiative and we wanted to ensure that we not only give our customer the best product, but we give her the peace of mind that all our seafood is responsibly sourced. That all of our seafood is either WWF Sassy Green listed, it's either MSC certified or the fishing institution is on a credible time-bound improvement project. The Woolworths MSC certified canned tuna is caught using the pole and line method. And while this fishing technique is centuries old, the International Pole and Line Foundation is a relatively new organization of which Martin Purvis is the managing director. Martin, what exactly does the International Pole and Line Foundation do? We're an international NGO that work with the markets, so retailers, buyers, and connect them with the fishermen and uh, promote low impact fishing methods for tuna in the marketplace. Now, what is the pole and line method? Can you describe that for us? Well, firstly, it's a method that's been around for centuries. It's a traditional fishing method. And it's basically the idea of one man, one fish, one hook, landing uh, catch, 
with low impact fishing methods. It's definitely more sustainable. The hook size you use selects the size of the fish that's caught. There's minimal impacts on other species, marine life. It's very difficult to overfish stocks with these type of fishing methods. With these fishing methods, there's a lot more fishermen involved. So there's a, it's labor rich environment and there's also very close connections to fishing communities and a lot of the traditional culture and so on. A lot of the current catches can still be taken with these methods and it all depends on consumers and their willingness to make sustainable choices and that will drive change on the water as well. Dr. Mohamed Shiny, the Minister of Fisheries and Agriculture in the Maldives, echoes this sentiment. Fishing supports over 30,000 livelihoods and is the second highest GDP contributor in the Maldives after tourism. For the well-being of the people, especially in the outer islands, fishing is very, very important. Without people like South Africans and who was supporting these initiatives, it would be very difficult for us alone to drive this sustainability agenda. So we are very happy that it is going to the shores of Africa. And we are happy that we now have access to MSC certified canned tuna here in South Africa. Sustainable fishing is important to safeguard our precious seafood supplies for the future, particularly if we want to see the world's oceans teeming with life for generations to come.